Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Christian from Berlin. And if you do a lesson on such a famous song, it's very risky because there's so many tutorials on that already out there. So you have to offer something on top to please you. And that is the solo. And I did the solo um, by Paul Desmond because that's the solo everybody associates with this tune and not the one by Dave Brubeck. He had a bad day on that recording. So please reward me for that um, extra so that this uh, tutorial has a chance in the uh, forest of YouTube tutorials. I hope you enjoy this. Let's go. Great to see you in the help section. That means you're actually attempting to learn this. And I will help you. Let's get through this. Now, of course, honey, we have to talk about the left hand. This one. And why do we have to talk? Because we not only have the five, five fourth beat, but we have to accommodate the E minor seven uh, in this way. This is the first way I'll show you. I'll show you also a little simpler version. But first of all, this here. And can you see my huge left hand? Uh, I can, I can uh, like uh, play this. <clears throat> and if you're one of the lovely ladies on my channel, you probably do not manage, um, and you have to let go of the fifth finger. And so, and you can because we don't have to tie. So you can do. This is probably the movement you have to do, roughly. Okay. So and then. Um, you know, my second finger is on the B flat. And so you have to, there is a hold, there is a hold on, on the pattern. You're here now and your fifth finger is here. So you, you, your finger, your thumb will learn to grab the same note that your index finger has here. And now we have to play an octave and an octave is also 
by default in your pianist's brain. We know octaves. So it, it looks weird and tough, and it is, but it's not quite as tough as you think. So we, ha we, have, we have hold of the, of, the, um, of the B flat, and so your, uh, your thumb knows where to go. And we know the, roughly our hand remembers the octave. Okay, so remember that. And then you practice that one or two years before you start using the right hand, um, like on and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five until you have no problems playing this cause we have to then shift our focus to our beloved right hand. This simpler version, simpler version. We don't have to grab the, the minor fifth, a minor third of E flat um, minor, which is one of our favorite keys with six flats. Oh, don't we love that? Oh, we hate Paul Desmond for that, but he's a saxophonist. He plays for his own favorite keys. He doesn't care, and he's just assuming Dave Brubeck can deal with uh, six flats. He probably, Dave Brubeck probably had to look at one or two tutorials. And so we play. Instead of the, th uh, the minor third here, we play the octave. You see? Yes, we are missing out on the minor sound, but again, but this is also, the minor third is showing up in the right hand, so uh, the ear knows it's minor seven. It's a little bit fuller, yes, but then, but you can still play the song, and that's the main thing, okay, so. After a while, you will have the five fourth beat in your blood, and then we start with the um, right hand. So, um, ah, no, of course it's the uh, we we start the intro is of course with both hands. I don't have to show you there. We can use both hands, like yeah, that's easy peasy, right? We can use both hands for the chords. Uh, what I just showed you is, of course, uh, for when we play the melody in the right hand. You can play this. I mean, it's really a difficulty on top of all other difficulties. But, hey, Paul Desmond is playing this. Uh, he's probably even playing. <laughs> we don't want that. We play a little slide here. A little grace note here. Okay. So, and then play it that slowly in the beginning. Otherwise, um, you don't get the groove. If you play it straight, straight away and fast, it will never sound round. So, here, and two, and three. And remember the anchors. Here. Yeah, that is not so hard. Four sixteenth notes. And they're quite nice in the hand, because we have third finger here, we have the G flat here, the weak finger on the um, on the uh, black note is uh, raising its neck towards our weak finger. We love these um, moments. So, and here, third finger. Wow, oh, one thing I forgot, which is important. When we play the, when we start, yeah? Look at my finger setting when we play the theme. Look, we need, we, we don't have enough fingers. And you slap, play the fourth finger here because we need the fifth finger here. Okay, little trick here. It's very important, this little trick. And then it's all fine. Okay? Bop. Bop. And then um, it's coming on the D first. And then on the F, just um, the other way around. Now, <laughs> we 
come to the moment you've been waiting for, the B part, where there are more chords. And here we go. Let's have a look at the different chords. We love the C flat major chord. Why do we love it? Because C is my the first letter of my first name. That makes it our you know, collective favorite chord. And we have a look. The, uh, you 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 you, um, you dis discover this C flat. Major. Yeah, I know it's B flat. It's called enharmonic shifting. Yeah, it's called C flat because we are in E, um, in E flat minor, and E flat minor. This is the minor six, so it has to be the C flat minor because the major six and the minor six of the E flat minor scale. That's the reason. So, and then uh, C flat um, uh, major, do, 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 and then comes the, you wonder why it's called the A flat minor six, when we don't play the root, and uh, well, it's just the leading of the bass, just accept it, there's no theory lesson, but it's the A minor six, and we play here the, um, hold on. Oh yeah, you see how wonderful these single notes in between wonderfully lead to the next uh, chord, you see? So we have one and two and three. It's the A flat minor six, but we just play the six and the A of that chord. And then here we have the same problem now that you that we had before the B. We are now on the B flat minor seven. My God, these names are so long. B flat minor seven, C flat major seven nine sharp eleven thirteen. Okay, now we are here. So and of course you have to do the same as before here, and also here can you do you can do the same. You can play, you just play the fifth and the octave of that chord, okay? Where you cannot play the minor seven here and the minor third. In all following chords also, you just play the fifth and the root, okay? So one and two and three, and now comes the A minor single note leading and A minor seven, and then, and this is the hardest bit because it's a longer stretch here. We have to play the major seven with the index on, so here you have to go, let go of the fifth finger. It can happen that you have to practice even this chord on its own, you know? But beware, I did the same. I had to practice this. Many of these songs I present to you are not in my repertoire. I have to practice them till they're nice and uh, fluffy. So, and then we go on, okay? So what you do is you play, ba, 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 ba. you play, see? Didn't play it for a week and it's gone already. And. Play, uh, okay, you play the left hand in the B part first, very slowly. You do it in this tempo, do, or even slower. And you will see after a while. Ah, this one is hard. And so on. The, um, the, the right hand then, very slowly here. It is probably, now I won't say that. I won't say that it's good to have the sheet music because then you, you think I just say that to make money, <laughs> which would be true. Okay, one and two and three. So remember the anchors where, you know, and then you always have the ba 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 bum uh, here. And then again, you have these uh, uh, up notes. We have go down, like. And then we have this up line together with the two leading single notes here. 
And again, two single notes, line up. Uh, and again. And then. Yes, that's how you practice it. Yeah, um, that just to repeat. So the the, the B part, um, the first four bars repeat. It's great. And only here, only here, where we have before we have we had the G major chord. We have here the. Um, uh, We have here the D flat. We have the 2 5 of the E flat minor, which is F minor 7. And then. Repeating. Okay? Now, the if you want to play it right, uh, how do we play the melody? The melody should be slightly dotted, yeah. Um, so it's like a ba 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 ba. You see, it's swing, but only slightly, like yeah. You got it. You see, it's not like hard hard uh, wire. No, it's not like. Uh, Ha, ha, it's no hard uh, dotting like like that's too much yeah oh and you can see like I was really uh, tickling the uh, softness of the dotting uh, sometimes and at some moments I'm almost straight Ah, uh, I could have dotted a little bit more. I'm, all, I'm, I'm almost straight there. I almost played like, yeah. But this even was dotted. So don't play it straight. Just with a slight, slight swing feeling, okay? But with a fluent, slight swing feeling. Now, shall we have a look at the? Uh, there's a solo somewhere. I remember I played a solo. And this, of course, is the, are the original notes from Paul Desmond's solo, because these are the iconic um, solo notes everybody knows, not the, uh, the Dave Brubeck solo. He played it uh, very different. Sometimes I, I grew up with a live recording where he played something much wilder. But we want, I want, and if I want, you want, um, the, the, you know, the... Um, everybody knows the, the, the solo of Paul Desmond. And so that's, here we go. So, and here, this is tough from the feeling. It's not so much from the counting itself, but here you want to play the uh, some notes too early. You don't you want to don't want to wait the extra fifth note in between. So let's have a look. Yeah, start. Ah, see, just like myself. Yeah. Get this in your hammer, this in your head, and this is getting just worse. One and two and three and a four, five. And yeah, just it's just the first bar, first, first bar. And four and five, and now this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Yeah, so I had to, I was confused. Okay, here. Here. This you have to just, it's just bloody learning. Remember they hear the anchor? Okay, again this one, because I needed a, a, a minute for this one too. <laughs> and then of course it's uh, again slightly dotted. 
ya. This is uh, the easy bit, you know, there's a slow replay coming. And then, um, ah, yeah, we have the, yeah, it's the flat five. This is uh, the flat five or the sharp 11 or call it Fritz. Yeah, one, one, <laughs> and where is coming? That's, that's the mean thing. Not only that is the, it's the flat five, it's actually a blues reminiscence here. Yeah, from the blues scale, but just one note. And it's coming one and two and three. This, yeah, yeah, chew on it, chew on it, take a holiday. Uh, it's your time of the year anyway. Here, one and two and three and four and here, one and two and three and four and four and mm. Again, one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and four. Here again, one and two and three and Four and five and again. He really likes the blues. One and two, one and two and three and four. Yeah, again, this bar is the how many bars of the solo we are in? Doesn't matter. One and two and three and four and five and one and two. It is tricky, and I can only uh, help you a little bit to get you know get the sound of it. One and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two. It's a, actually a miracle to myself that I managed to count while playing this. Usually I, uh, I, only, I already fail when I have to count for you four fourth bar with just one syncopation. I lose my multitasking. So, okay. I love this part. Huh? Uh, And here, um, I can tell you already, because I had the same problem, you have to uh, pay attention to the finger setting. Now, we have to go up. And if the finger setting is not right here, you will all the time uh, crash here, break down the groove. So, uh, where was I? Now. Here, F first finger, under setting, thumb, that we can reach this one, here yeah, with the fourth finger and, and rise up, and then again, you see, always take down the finger setting, you will, you know, it saves you a lot of time if you take the right finger setting when you have to reach out higher. Okay, so uh, where was I? Um, here. Yeah, great. Yeah! Okay, where was I? Here. Up. Here. Ah, we love that. The saxophonists, you know, they, they can play that. They just you know, bend the notes. And here we have to, he, for him it's just one note. He just plays And we have to do this. Just a rough. We have to pretend we can bend too, which we can't. Uh, piano is great. It's the king of instruments. Um, but I'll tell you in a second what the, no, what the, what's the queen of instruments? You know what the queen of instruments is? According to Bach, I know you call him Bark, but that sounds like a dog barking. We call him Bach. And he says the queen of instruments is the organ, the church organ. But we don't want to play take five on the church, church organ. So what I mean here is, um, uh, yeah, the, uh, the piano is, let's say, the uh, princess of instruments just behind the church organ. But um, we cannot bend notes. This, this is the bad, the only bad thing. <laughs> Apart from that, with uh, the with digital pianos, we need a power supply. Here. 
So we have to pretend we're bending this note Paul Desmond plays so easily on his cheap saxophone. And be in time here. Here. Don't, don't stress. Here. That you are in time and not rushing these two. Not, you will play this for, if I'm not, you know, uh, drilling you, you play, you will play. You, definitely. So you don't have to do that. Yeah. And here we again have this same problem. Um, and finger setting, look. And try everything you want. I found the best solution for this. I found the best finger setting already for you. Uh, so take mine. Uh, And then we have this hook that thing again. And then of course, of course, of course, of course, you have to play it uh, like swung again, swing. Yeah. It's tough. To not, you know, not uh, uh, interrupt the, f the scale flow here. Yeah. But do it separately all the time. It's worth it. It's a, it's a, one of the great, great um, songs. Starting again. I think I must correct the sheet music because we have the uh, yeah 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 we have cause um, the, it actually goes. <laughs> and in the sheet music, it's still wrong. It's still wrong. It goes this. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's too. What I don't even know what that is. If that even exists. Uh, ba -da -bam, ba -da -bam. It's two sixteenths note. Okay. And then the whole thing starts again. Yes, oh, we managed. <sighs> Breathing air. Ah, oh, yeah, we love this. <laughs> That's getting easy again. Yeah. And then we start this. So it's repeated again. It's just repeated again. Ah, I'm really proud of you. If you, if you, um, if you try, you can always fail. But you know, who never tries has already. Uh, what, what else? You never try. You already failed. No, the one who tries can fail. The one who doesn't try has already failed. That was good one. That's good one. Now is this slow replay coming? Um, I'm proud of you if you if you try, make an effort.
you arrived here. That means, have you learned it? I'm proud of you. That's just great. If you enjoyed it, uh, please take, uh, take five thumbs, of course. Uh, and I know you don't have five thumbs, but you might have relatives or friends who might press theirs too. And squeeze it onto the like button. I see you in my next lesson. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for learning. Stay safe. Tschüss from Berlin.